Yo, this is Will Sullivan. You watching HipHopGossipSite.com. NYC Gossip Girl, HipHopGossipSite.com. We in the building with Will Sullivan. Can you just let people know, you know, who you are and where you from? Okay. All right. Um, I'm Will Sullivan. I'm from Queens, New York. Um, I'm a producer, rapper, but I'm not in that order. So it's not like producers started making beats and then started rapping. I was doing both of them from since day one, so... You how know, how far back are we talking? I've been I've been doing beats and making music since I was like eight nine years old. Oh okay. So um, you know like it's kind of it was kind of inherited. You know my father was a musician. So okay. Still is a musician. So you know that's the history goes back that far. So when I was playing with records, I was also able to play with um drum boxes and all that other good stuff. Okay, so you had access to it. Yeah. Now I heard that there is a history behind your produ your production and the people you used to work with. Do you want to go into a little bit of, of that? I know you. I was told you was with Bad Boy working with Puffy, and you was also working with Nas. How yeah. how did that? How did those relationships start? Well, I mean that that starts like in um ninety eight, and I ain't forty years old either. Mm. You get twisted. <laughs> but like um I was. I was a kid, I was playing beats out of a car, my man's car on, on, on Merrick Boulevard and a dude walked up to me and was like, yo, um, who is that? And I was like, um, it's, my, it's me, it's my stuff. I kept saying it's my stuff. He was like, nah, but who, who, who is it? Like, who's rapping over that? Because I don't hear nobody. So I was like, it's, it's nobody. So the dude asked me to get in his truck and play it in his truck. Mm. So I got in the truck and I played it for him and the dude starts making calls and they who, said, Who's the dude we talking about? I'm gonna, I'm, oh. I'm gonna tell you. Oh, okay, okay. You. you know, I jump, I jump. Starts making a phone call. He calls Black Rob on the phone. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, Rob, you gotta hear this. Yo, listen to this. So the dude turned out to be June Balloon. Oh, okay, got it. So he, he was kind of the one. It was crazy because he just found me on the street. I'm playing beats in the car about to drink a 40. So hmm. after that, you know, he was able to take me to um, get my music heard, get the beats heard. Right. But at the same time, you know, like I was hanging out in Queensbridge and my man Bar, rest in peace, Bar Kim Bowser, he brought me to Nas. So it was like, you know, like, all right, yo, Nas, this is, um, this is my little man. He do beats or whatever. Yo, he, he, he got it. He got it. So... I was able to mingle with both sides at the time, and we talking about '98. This is like you know, Big was already dead already, right. but it was still like a new New York sound. And plus, you know, Nas was that dude, and Bad Boy was them them dudes. So right, exactly. I was able to mingle around with both of them. So you know, that, okay. that's where it kind of starts. All right, go ahead. No, no, I'm sorry. No, I didn't want to cut you off because there's an interesting story that, it, you know, it's not a, uh, it's not. How how can I say it? People know that there's a lot of shady things when it comes to Puff, a lot of, and and I was told that you did some production work and was not given credit. Can you go into that? Uh, yeah, well that that's that's all for the Shine. The second Shine album is um Godfather Buried Alive. I don't know. I can't point fingers at, at who 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 made the mistake or who fucked up or who did some dumb, you know... You could curse, up. you could curse. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I don't, you know, somebody did some dumb shit. Right. But I don't know, I don't, I don't know if it was, it had anything to do with Puff. Right. But I'm gonna tell you, this is the story. When, um, when, when I did a track for Sean, but when he was still signed to Bad Boy. Okay. And this is after the first album, when he was working on the second album, and, um... In the middle of the album, you know, being put together or about to come out, that's when he got into the incident at the club and the shooting and, you know, you know the history of right. mm -hmm. before he went to jail. Okay. So, when he, um, when he went to jail, he was incarcerated or whatever, the deal with Bad Boy, I don't know what happened to it, but after a while, Puff let him walk with his masters. Oh. Now, before he walked with his masters, I had, you know, I got a first, I got my invoice for that. I got like a first advance for that beat. And um, we thought we was just dead and stinking because, all right, Sean is locked up for 10 years, so the album's never going to come out. But then what happened was Def Jam signed them, and they put the album out. But when they put the album out, the track that I did got Chucky Thompson and somebody else on, on, the, on the production credit. Mm. Now, did you ever address this with anybody in the camp? Like, well, yo, I did that beat, not well, them. I mean, it was, I was lucky because I had June Balloon. Right. And June Balloon was the one that, that I came under his arm. So June Balloon was able to, she tried to address it, but okay. it didn't, 
they didn't straighten it out, so we had to go get a lawyer mm. and um, take care of it. And still, it was like, all right, fine. They gave they gave us some bread and some royalties for it, but we didn't get no plaque. You know, we didn't really get it. It's like, oh, we fucked up, but here, take this. Take this. I cut you, but take that band aid, and I'm gonna take you to the hospital. That's it. They didn't really, you know, like yo, you know, help you out with it. They just like, all right, here, take that bread, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, you know. Now, what song was that? That it's, it's Martyr. The song Martyr. It's the only song they got a quotable for. So you know, like, it's an ill song. It's crazy. And the funny thing about that was that I played that beat for Nas too, because it's the same time. It's the the same time I gave him that beat. You know, Nas liked that beat too. Mm -hmm. But it was just the opportunity to, you know, whoever took it first or whatever. So, that's really it. I mean, I ended up getting my paper for it and what was owed to me. But still, credit credit counts more than sometimes. Than, it's more than money sometimes. Right. It's, it's 2010. Credit is more than money now, if in them words. Right. But we never got a plaque for it. We never really got the recognition. So, that's why we're here talking about it now. Mm. Okay, so... After that incident, how is your relationship now with that camp? Do you still have relationships with them? Do you not fuck with them at all? No, nah, I mean I'm I'm cool. I, I I seen um everybody. Me and June, me and June Balloon is is tight. He went through it with me. Mm -hmm. That was his. He was and that was his direct camp. I see Conrad. Conrad was always cool with me. Conrad, I see him. Yo, what up, son? What's going on? He asked me, but I'm, what am I doing now? What you doing? So I tell him this is what I'm doing. I'm I'm getting it together. So I mean, everybody that I that I seen is cool. I don't know who to say. We don't know. Like, it, it, when somebody give you your masters and you walk, who knows? It could be the new camp that was like, yo, you know what? Uh, we could change this around, or it could have got lost. But I heard a lot of people have problems with that album. Mm. So I don't know. I don't judge. As long as you know, it's it's all good. Who knows? You know how the industry is, anyway. Yeah, I know all too well. Now, um, your relationship with Nas. I know that you had went on tour with Nas. For yeah, the Hate well, Me Now tour? Yeah, well, that's, this, what happened with that was I was supposed to go, it, he was supposed to have a, like a, a tour bus and, you know, with, with beats or whatever. And it was supposed to be a studio on a bus and we were supposed to work out, bang out beats and he was supposed to record on that. But the bus never came. Then, you know, like, I, I got sent home off the tour before it even really jumped off. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yo, it's Will Sullivan, what's poppin'.net. I am what's poppin'.